What do you think of a sculpture? The head of a man, perhaps, a time-honoured artistic subject. And a sculptural self-portrait. A traditional road to immortality for artists. A breed so passionate, it is said, they put blood, sweat and tears into their work. Here, Mark Quinn has done just that, quite literally. He created this serene sculpture by casting a mould from his own head. Then, over five months, he filled the mould with eight pints of his own blood, the amount found in an average human body, and then froze it. When he removed the mould, this sculpture remained, dissolving the barrier between art and life. You can hear the refrigeration system that preserves Quinn's sculpture humming. Recently, Quinn talked about why he chose the medium of his own blood. The blood sculpture is trying to keep something out of the continuum of life. It's also about the kind of boundaries of self, like, you know, when the blood's inside your body, you feel like everything within you is you. And yet, when the same quantity that's in your body is outside in the sculpture, it's no longer me, or is it? And these kind of questions, I think, are quite interesting. I wanted to make a sculpture that dealt with the issue of life and death only using sculptural language. So you could say the two parts of sculptural language are form and content. And so the form is a cast of my head at that moment, at that time when the blood was taken out. The content is literally the material of my body from that time. And yet if you pull the plug on it, it would turn into formlessness, into just liquid. So you have this kind of tension and dependence on the infrastructure of electricity and all these things that we take for granted but in fact we're totally dependent and it's an ironic comment on the obsession with immortality as well and the impossibility of it exactly